Good morning. Now I know we are wearing pretty much winter clothes, yep. but I promise it's only been one week since the last vlog yeah, know, in right? which we were in summer clothes. Feels like two months. But that's weather in London. So it's Sunday today. We are walking towards a new farmer's market, um, farmer's market. in our local park. Are we bringing Wanda with us. We had to put a muzzle on her because she's a bit snappy when there's a lot of people around. She looks hilarious. Yeah, she looks pretty funny. <laughs> we haven't had breakfast, so we're hoping we're gonna find some coffee, coffee and cakes over there. I need a coffee, otherwise I'm like a lettuce. Yeah. I'm like a lettuce. Yeah. We have a tough day ahead, don't we? Yeah, we do. We need to start preparing oh, our big move and we need to throw away a lot of stuff, clean, pack. Today is the first day of the official move, I guess. Today is the first day of the rest of our lives. <laughs> Anyway, let's see what we find. We've never been to this market before. It's the second time they do it, so... We look I'm hipster sure. enough, yeah. so we're fine. I'm wearing my farmer's market outfit. I've got, got my flannel and my gilet on. You're looking enough like I'm a farmer. A <laughs> we can there smell is, something, but we think it's sausages or bacon. There is bound bacon. to be a vegan option, I bet. Well, I hope a vegetarian so. option, let's, let's not get crazy. Because that bacon yeah. smells amazing. So we've just found the market. It looks amazing. The smells are insane. It smells incredible. What? I what? Want breakfast that. We oh okay. We need to establish a mission here. I want fresh bread, proper cheese, and a cake. I think. Do you, is there anything you want? Not not for right now, but for today or tomorrow. For, I don't care. I just want to eat now. I just want to eat I'm now. <laughs> I need a coffee as well. I just want a coffee in a bag. This looks amazing. Look at this. We're gonna get some mushrooms for our risotto. We're literally halfway through and our bag is full. It's full. Oh my god, look at we, that. We <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my mouth just blooded with saliva, as you say. <laughs> we just found plant based cheese. Tom, do you really just spend 20 quid in vegan cheese? No, I need to show you this. I So, Tom doesn't like, never like vegan cheese, but I've convinced him. Smaller than, like, I have never spent so much money but on it, cheese. But it tastes amazing. They gave us amazing. a try, and Tom was convinced. If Tom is convinced to buy vegan cheese, that means it's good. Oh, yeah. One was oh, yeah. herb, and the other one was like a blue cheese. cheese. Cashew blue cheese. Amazing. We much. just found a place that sells Thank scotch you. eggs. Have a lovely day, yeah? You. And they have a veggie one. Scotch eggs are the best in the world. So, unboxing time. We got potatoes, we got carrots. Lemon uh, for our hummus. Proper fresh. Corn on the cob. Oh, yes. The pièce de la résistance. Pan. Pan. Oh, that's a, a rosemary that's sourdough. Rosemary. Focaccia. That's like Turkish uh, the, filo pastry thing. Feta spinach. and spinach. These are mushrooms for the risotto we're going to make. Chocolate. And the donut. Oh, donut. they're not squished. No, nope, that's it's fine. a miracle. Another donut, lentil and mushroom. Oh, scotch, scotch egg. egg. And then we've got the world's most expensive vegan cheese. Like a blue cheese, and then this is like an Italian herb, which is just fiery. So, oh, yeah. they were both delicious, though. So, yeah. Exciting. But that doesn't mean our house does not look like a total mess. Exciting month ahead. <laughs> the good thing is we've already booked the van. We've already booked the ferry. Everything's booked, so we just have. A lot to pack and, get rid of. and also I think I might have to go to Spain for work before we move so I'm gonna be quarantined so I'm gonna have two weeks to just continue packing we got focaccia with rosemary and we got mushroom risotto mushroom and leek risotto yeah shall we go for a walk yes <laughs> okay let me get dressed first hi today is cleaning and packing and tidying day or like my dad would say, zafarrancho. I have to go to Spain uh, in like four days, for a few days. So I wanna help Tom with some packing before I go. It's gonna be hard. Also, I have a few boxes of clothes that I need to send off to either donate or sell. So I'm gonna get on with that. Let's get tidying and packing. Why? <laughs> hey, if you don't want to, we can just- Oh yeah, we're moving, it. aren't we? Oh shit, yeah. 
<laughs> We're moving in like a month. I forgot that, oh, okay. that little detail. Are you gonna help us once? Yes? Okay. Sorry. Hello guys! It's Monday the 26th October and a train is coming. <laughs> so we haven't vlogged, it's been like three weeks since the first half of this vlog. It has man. Um, but it's, been busy. Yeah, it's basically because I went to Spain for a week and then I had to quarantine for two weeks. So mm. the last two weeks we've basically been locked at home, didn't do anything interesting and we thought just don't we'd packing, just really. spare you, <laughs> spare you the suffering. <laughs> So we're going to London for the second time this year together. Well, second time since the pandemic started. God, you're right. What are we going to do today, How Tom? depressing is that? Wow. I know. Today we're going in to Covent Garden, do some photos. We're going to do a nice lunch and then we're going to have freaking massage, man. Yes, stick Ooh. tissue. It's like, I, book, I saw it last night, I was like, we've got to have it booked, done, sorted. Yeah. And we're going to have lunch at Mazala Zone, which mm. is like my favorite restaurant in London. You told me so you're nice making me jealous for a while. Curry. Yeah. We had to go home and come back because we forgot our face masks. Every time. Disaster. Every time. So we're at the Masala Zone in uh, Covent Garden. It smells incredible. It looks incredible. Uh, I'm having I'm having lamb. I'm having meat, guys. Deal with it. You had a lamb in like <laughs> I had, I had lamb in like ages, man. I just fancied it. I don't often eat meat, but you know, whatever. Um, and you've got like a vegetarian, what have you got like? Is it Paneer. Oh, that's the cheese. This is naan, but it's not just any naan, it's Peshwari naan, which is like a sweet almond one. Uh, Tom, why haven't you finished your food? Dumb. If you don't eat that Peshwari naan, I'm gonna stuff it down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! So here we had lentil dal. This was like potato and pea, cauliflower with pepper, and this was the lamb. It's pretty good, it's alright. Did you miss lamb? No, not as much as I thought I would. I'm done. Oh, and this came with it as well. A yogurt, yogurt like sauce. A yogurt. I finished my plate ages ago. Well, finished. Fuck off. <laughs> Stopped eating my plate ages ago. It's delicious, but I'm so full. And mm. I ordered beer. And when I order beer, it's always a mistake because then I can't eat anymore. Give me some more stomach space so I can finish my plate. <laughs> but I don't think I can. <laughs> it's just too much food, but it's amazing. And I definitely ate my Peshwari naan. <gasps> He's cute. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> I think I said it before, but this is my favorite restaurant in London. And everyone who works here is so nice. Oh my God. Like, just so nice. And that just makes it when a restaurant's good and the people are nice, it's like 20 times better. So, yeah, super recommended if you're in London. Are we gonna take some photos before our deep tissue massage? Oh, you know it. You know That's it. That's gonna be tough. That's gonna all be the food tough. we ate. <laughs> it's like, don't massage my we belly. We made a please. real bad error there, in my opinion. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, it's really dark. We went to get a uh, couple massage, deep tissue massage, and it was amazing. It was so good. Tom was in pain, I could hear him like breathing like... There's no pain. So good then. And then we went to, uh, well, we casually walked past a vintage store. Oh my god. And we ended up spending a lot of money because Tom bought a vintage barber, ja barber jacket, and I bought yeah, so. another vintage, like, super funky leather jacket. Yeah, and then now we came to our favorite bar, which is called Bar American. It's very close to Piccadilly. And I'm having something called a Chicago Fizz, and Tom is having a sidecar. Side so yeah, if you like cocktails, this place is amazing. It's really beautiful as well. It's like it's 30, it's really nice. Recommend it. Good morning. Uh, we actually forgot to close the vlog yesterday, so I thought we could show you what we bought. Tom bought a really nice jacket, I did. and so did I. So do you want to show us your I new barber jacket? Like I'm fucking doing a runway show. <laughs> show me, show me. So I've wanted a barber jacket for as long as I can remember. But I've never found one that I loved or was in good enough condition. I've never looked at many black ones. And the black barber jackets are the international ones, which is like the motorcycle range. So this one is fucking awesome because it's like kind of already pre-worn in. Fits really nicely. And yeah, I like it. It look and good. I, and it just means I need to get my motorcycle now. It's just, it's decided. Love it. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? So but I went to a motorcycle event earlier in the year, and I want to put like probably something like that there. This looks sick. I like it. What do you think? 
I like but it. But I don't it care is. what you think because it's well, going Well, then don't on. ask me. <laughs> Clearly doesn't want my opinion. I'm going to show you what I bought because it's epic. And this is what I bought. It looks weird like this, but it's a really nice jacket from the 70s that looks insane. Anyway, we're going to end this vlog here. I think it's been like three different days on this vlog. I think it's been like three different weeks on this yeah, vlog. Yeah, probably. It? <laughs> it will become more regular. Uh, it's just with you being locked down, we've not been able to do much. And obviously yeah. the house is just full of boxes. And also the move is quite repetitive. So I think all the packing part of it, is, there's really not that much to see. It's more the actual move, which is happening happening in a couple of weeks. So. And I think we'll like kind of like vlog the loading, the driving, the trip. I think that'd be really yeah, interesting be to fun. see. So, yeah. Great. See you in the next one. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha